Shanice, lovely to meet you. I'm Justine Williams. Yeah. Um, I just want to start by saying congratulations on what a wonderful work you've created. Thank you. So Shanice, how did you feel when you, you came into the art gallery today and you see, saw your video on the wall? It's just so overwhelming. Like when I first showed it to my art teacher, I was like freaking out. Like I didn't realise how personal this artwork is. And then when I showed it to her, I started crying. I'm like, ah! but yeah. I understand that completely because I have uh, in my own practice made work that's been quite personal yeah and you don't realize uh, you just make the work so you're in this kind of creative process yeah, yeah you just don't you yeah. don't you just you just see things and you make it and you yeah. create it and you're yeah. in this particular zone yeah and it's not until after you've made yeah. it and you see it yeah That's that exactly you realize right. what you've made yeah well it's wonderful work <laughs> thank you and so where is it shot where do you live it's a suburb in Wollongong fabulous yeah um, it's in a housing commission estate and yep. yeah it actually looks like to me, because I'm familiar. I'm from the suburbs also. Okay. I still live there. <laughs> um, I also uh, had a studio for a while out at Minto, and I'm, I, I know that kind of um, architecture. Okay. Where some of the houses look quite similar. Yeah, yeah. And that's that comes to then to the title of the yeah, work. Yeah, that's yeah. It's just names after like how like the houses are like. Yeah. What's the title of the work? Uh, Lego Land 2502. And 2502, is that your postcard? Yeah, postcode, yep. Great, yeah. Great, I like that. Okay. And so talk, talk to me about Lego Land. When I think of Lego, blocks of Lego, I think of things just, it's all very perfect yeah. and everything fits in together. So do you feel but, like that in your, <laughs> no, where you live? No, no. No? Why is that? It's just like the people there, they don't really appreciate like what we have and they just destroy and disrupt the neighbours and stuff. And, yeah, you feel like that kind of goes on in your neighbourhood. Look, but don't you feel like sometimes that's, even in the wider community, people don't look after their environment, yeah, not true. just where you yeah, live. Yeah, 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 that's right. And But I've noticed, like, uh, some of the images, which to me look like still moving images. Yeah. There's a beautiful one too of a weed, where it's actually just... Out of the pipe? Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous, where you've actually shot these very simple images, but they're very... And you think a weed is something that just grows out of a nothingness, but it's actually yeah. really beautiful. I think what you've, cre you've created some really beautiful images within the video. Yeah. You know, and you talk about how your, you know, your suburb may be seen, or the people, the locals don't actually look after. Yeah. You know, their environment. Yeah. But I love the way you've actually framed the shots because you've actually made your Wollongong um, look really beautiful, which I'm sure it is, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. the way you look at things, you know? Yeah. It's how you um, see your own environment. I yeah. just wanted to show that like this place can also seem beautiful. It does look beautiful, <laughs> but you have made it look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. The title of my work is Milk Seeped in Bread and Rocked the Leg. I usually use quite long titles and this one's a little bit shorter, yeah. but I like to um, give a lot to the viewer but also make it a little bit of a riddle in that I like to give a little bit away but not too much. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. I suppose it's a little bit like your work in that um, I do kind of work with the, lo my, uh, the environment that I'm used yeah. to Yeah. And, this, and in this particular work I did work with my family and also I was interested in love and different relationships and so familial love is, a, is one that we nearly all know and it's a different kind of love to that romantic love. Yeah. yeah. And I use bread in the work because it's a constant. It's something, you know, for a lot yeah. of people it is sustenance. Yeah. It's like something you do every day and yeah. it's a part of a routine yeah. and a ritual. Yeah. And performance is a little bit like that too. Okay. So why the installation? Why is it set up like this? Uh, that's a good question, Shanice. <laughs> Sometimes I don't quite know what I'm doing. Like I just, the, the actual, this all end is a result of me just making the first video. And the first video was shot um, in a studio. And the studio that I rented just happened to have two tables in it. Oh, wow. Okay. And so I decided, and I always use what's in my immediate environment. Yeah, yeah. And so I used these two tables and they became a part of the work and they were pine. Okay. And then I just started to collect more 
of these pine furniture because then pine furniture to me also reminds me of the suburbs and okay. a lot of people kind of uh, decorate their houses in it. It's kind of cheap and it's every yeah. day. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I kept working with these this particular furniture and then it, afterwards this is what I decided to actually show the work. That was okay. became the um, the device on which to show the work. Yeah. And these tables that you see are yeah. actually the tables. I ended up borrowing those. Oh, They're the wow. tables from yeah so from cool. the um, studio. Yeah like you in your video I wanted it to be quite an intimate kind of viewing experience and the shelves for me are like something you'd have in your house but they're also something you kind of got to look up to so I'm one of those artists I suppose a little bit like you in that you're not always sure but you feel right and you yeah. just keep working with it and you yeah. go with that gut feeling yeah so how do you feel about this work being shown here oh <laughs> um, like you it's just a, an honor and a privilege and yeah. Um, I love the art gallery, I mean, I, it's just a wonderful space and place yeah. and also to be shown with these other artists, I feel yeah. very privileged because yeah. they're all great artists. Yeah. Um, the first time I showed at the art gallery was, oh, 95, oh, anyway, in the 90s, but I don't think I did such a great job. <laughs> it was in level two and I, um, I don't think the work was so fantastic. And, but I still have the work and because I work with history, my own history but as well as a collective history, I've actually brought that work back into the space. So what you're looking really? at yes, are some of the failed photographs from the 90s. I work with my own history and they're all cut up like shards or wow. from an archaeological dig and I've placed them back in the work. That is so, so it's almost writing a wrong because I believe yeah. that history, uh, you can always rewrite history, yeah? yeah. Even if you don't like it, you can always go back and change yeah. it. Yeah. And that's what sometimes I do, even if it's my own history or a social history or a collective history. So, yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's always wonderful to um, have your work shown really in any gallery. Yeah, so, definitely. That was lovely to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs>